What's up guys, Alex here at GuitarForce.com So as you can see today we're going to take a look at uh, Give Her The Gun by UFO uh, This was uh, kindly requested and supported by Roland, a long time supporter So big thanks goes out to him uh, This lesson is going to be on the rhythm parts only So there is no solo in this lesson And um, tabs are going to be available at GuitarForce.com uh, the, this song is in standard tuning and for the sound I was using the VST plugin guitar rig. I'm going to show you the picture of the preset right now and while you are checking it out I'm going to play you my low E so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright guys, so without further ado let's go for the close up and start this lesson. Alright, so the intro riff goes like this. Okay, so here we have kind of triplets going on and uh, we're going to be using the A string open and we're going to be hammering on the first element is going to be on the third fret of the uh, A string so it's open to the third to the C note and then we're going to be constantly um, fretting the second fret on the D string so the first element we have is right so open to the third fret on the A string and then we play 2nd fret on the D and we repeat that 4 times then we simply move up to the 5th fret and uh, we uh, fret the same kind of double stop but obviously um, 2 frets higher so now we're going to be hammering from open string to the 5th on the A string and then picking 4th fret on the D Okay, again four times. Then we're gonna slightly change uh, the uh, double stop. So here we're gonna be fretting the uh, seventh fret on the A string, open to the seven, and uh, uh, fifth fret on the D string. And again the same uh, kind of element, like that. So we we'll do it for another four times. So each of the elements will play for four times. Um, and it's also palm uses. Everything is palm uses. Then we simply return to the previous double stop, so we continue that. And then we go back to the beginning again. So that's the first um, riff. Then we repeat it again. So all, all in all we're going to be playing it three times. The first two times we use the palm mute, heavily palm muted strings. Uh, by the end of the second time when we stay on this double stop here, we start to open up the strings and then the third time when we play this uh, figure we play it without the palm mute. So we have... Now here, when we play third, uh, third time, I'm sorry, um, when we get to the uh, these uh, fifth frets on the A and the fourth frets on uh, the D string, we play uh, the element again like that, and in the end we have this uh, hammer on pull off. So it, it happens on the fourth fret and fifth on the D string and then going to the 5th uh, frets on the A string and we play two times like that 
So one more time, the third time, slowly it's gonna be like this. Alright, so that's the whole figure. Alright, so after that we go into the main riff of the song which goes like this. So here, this song is based in the key of A, so everything um, is going to be played uh, around the A power chord uh, and also using the shuffle of ry rhythm. So we have not the straight eighths, but uh, uh, dotted eight with the sixteenth note. So we start off with the A open string, uh, slightly palm muted. So we pick it two times in the shuffle ry rhythm. Then we have a hammer on from the third to the fourth fret on the A string. And then we play with an upstroke the uh, full A power chord. So we have. And then again back to the A um, open string. So we play this for three times and then we have So it's the uh, fifth fret on the D string We play it once Slight uh, rest there Then we pick it two more times Pull off to the second fret on the D string And then go into the third fret on the A string again And then we return to the beginning of the riff So slowly it's gonna be like this Okay, so that's the main riff of the song and then we go into the verses, into the first verse which goes like this starts off with the G power chord we're gonna be playing it palm muted and also with the shuffle rhythm so we play this um, for three beats and then on the fourth beat we let let the chord ring out so we have then for the second bar we do again in a shuffle rhythm palm muted but on the beats three and four we let the chord ring out so all together the both uh, bars is going to be like this slowly and then we're getting back to the main riff of the song which is then after that we repeat it one more time After that we go to the F power chord, we play it for one bar and again in the same style so palm muted and uh, shuffle rhythm here, we let the chord ring out on the fourth beat of the bar and then after that we move it up to the G and we do the same thing so we have and then returning to the main riff of the song. And playing the um, progression again, F to G. So the first two times we played on G, and then third and fourth time we played F to G. And uh, mixing it with the main riff of the song. So that's the um, figure for the verses. After that we go into the chorus and it goes like this. So here is pretty straightforward, so we have just two chords, the A power chord, 
hit it, let, let it ring out, then we play the D power chord, but also using the A string open uh, in the bass, so it gives this uh, more kind of heavier sound. And we let it ring out. We'll play it for two times. When we play second time the D power chord, we have this feel which is a slide into the 4th fret on the A string then we play 2nd fret on D, 2nd on, second fret on G and we play again the A power chord D, A, D and again we have this um, trill, uh, hammer on pull off um, just like we did in the intro part so again same thing, 4th fret to the 5th, back to the 4th on the on the D string, alternating with the 5th frets on uh, the A string. And after that we go back right to the 2nd um, verse. So it's exactly the same figure. We play it once, then again we go into the, um, the chorus. So it's again the A and the D chords. And after that, uh, the last time actually when we play the D chord, we don't have the uh, hammer on pull off. But we go into the into the break. The break goes like this. All right. So here we're just uh, hitting the same chords, but. Um, each chord we hit twice and then there is a rest. So A, then we go to D, back to A. Next uh, figure is going to be like this. So each of the chords we play for three times. The first chord is the D, again with the A in the bass. And then this chord is C, but again we are using the fifth in the bass, which is the G note to give it a little bit more, um, uh, you know, heavier sound. So we do it also for three times. Then we repeat again the section. And the last time, second time, when we play um, this uh, uh, chords, the uh, D to C, we then hit the uh, E7 chord, like that, and then we go into the solo. So the whole solo is based um, in the key, now in tr transitions to the uh, E, so that's why we're hitting that E7 chord in the end uh, of the break. And after that we're going to the section, into the solo section. Alright, so coming out of the solo we have the intro figure, which is exactly the same. Uh, we played for two times, but uh, there is a um, slight difference there uh, when we get to the third double stop during the first time. So it goes as it is in the beginning. So when we get to this third double stop here, uh, we play it for three times as it is. So open to the uh, seventh fret on the A string and then fifth fret on the D. We play it for three times. But then we have this figure, or just uh, a little feel that we play. So it's two, two times on the D string, fifth fret, then seventh fret on A, and back to the D, fifth fret. So that's the only difference. That it might have been the mistake that he did, or you know, it, it's it's played in um, on purpose. But uh, it's there, these two notes. And then we go back to the to this uh, double stop, and then we repeat the figure again from uh, the be from the beginning. So we have. And in the end, again, we add this uh, hammer on pull off. So the first round slowed is going to be like this. Alright, so when we get to the third uh, double stop here, just uh, uh, keep in mind that the, the fourth time we have 
this, uh, this phrase. And after that, we continue uh, just like we did in the beginning. After that, we go back to playing the verse again, so it's exactly the same thing. Uh, slight difference there is when we get to the section where we play the F chord, right? And then when we get to the G chord, uh, the first time, the first two times when we play during uh, the verses, we play the open chord only on the fourth beat of the bar, but uh, in this last verse, uh, he plays it on the third and the fourth beats open chord. Uh, just a slight variation here. So we have... All right, so um, third and fourth beats of the bar, we just uh, play the open chord. Otherwise, it's exactly the same figure. And then uh, um, another difference from the previous verses is after you've played <coughs> this section between F and G two times, instead of playing the uh, uh, that main um, riff of the song, he goes and plays uh, the figure which is uh, played in the intro, this one. <laughs> So he plays it for two times, and then again, um, instead of playing the chords for the chorus, uh, he's playing uh, the uh, break. And that's how they end the song. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of this lesson. Hope you liked it. Thank you very much for checking it out. If you did like the lesson, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.